Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Mindy. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Today, we are gonna be making a super duper easy casserole and it's easy on your budget as well. This is something that I sort of just threw together last week for us. I'm sure there's plenty of versions out there of this, but this is what I did and we really enjoyed it. It reheated really well. Chris took it in his lunch the next day no problems whatsoever. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So that being said, I'm gonna lower the camera and show you guys the ingredients that we're gonna be using, and then we're gonna start cooking. These are the ingredients that we're going to be using. I have one pound of ground beef. I'm gonna be using 85% lean. I have one jar of Heinz Homestyle Beef Gravy, one cup of frozen peas and carrots, one cup of canned sweet corn, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. Here I have one tablespoon of parsley flakes, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna use half of this onion, and a container of 10 refrigerator biscuits. And that is what we're gonna be using. The first thing I'm going to do is dice up half of this onion and brown the ground beef. So while the ground beef is browning on the stove behind me, I thought I would take this time and do a couple of shout outs, maybe three. I wanted to tell you guys about a few channels that I really do enjoy and these people could really use a little boost in, in subscribers or watch time and hey, our taste tester just sent me a text message. I'm going to pause, we'll see what he wants and I'll be right back. He was just letting me know that he's really enjoying his lunch today. I sent him a pot pie. He loves pot pies. So there you have it. That's a little bit of inside information. Anyway, let's get back to these shout outs. I have been watching a channel for a while now and it is called Cocktail Tony. And Tony is absolutely amazing. He is so much fun to watch. He has a great personality. He likes to tell jokes and he can mix a mean cocktail as well. Now I am not a cocktail drinker and I haven't been for quite a while, but I still really enjoy his channel. I really enjoy his, his personality. If you enjoy cocktails, he has some really, really great looking cocktail recipes. And next I'd like to tell you about Kathleen's channel. Her channel is called My Alabama Farm Life. She lives on a homestead, she has chickens, and she does a lot of gardening and growing and do-it-yourself and home fixing. I mean, I absolutely admire this woman. She is living my dream. I would love, love, love to have a little farm just like she does. I think it would be amazing. And I really hope you guys will stop by and visit Kathleen, and if you do, please tell her Mindy said hello. And next I'd like to mention Sam's Kitchen. I have been watching this channel for a very, very, very long time, and she has been watching mine. We have a little bit of a language barrier, but we support each other's channels, we appreciate each other's friendship, and it is just very rewarding to be part of her YouTube channel, and I hope she feels the same way about my YouTube channel. She comes to us from Pakistan and she offers a wide variety of very delicious looking recipes. So I really hope you guys will pop over and say hello to Sam and visit her kitchen and tell her Mindy from Slice of Life said hello. And I have one more that I just have to mention and that is Stephanie from Still Single Stephanie. I have been following Stephanie's channel for quite a while. I want to say pretty close to two years, if not longer. She does cooking, she does meals of the week, she does grocery hauls, she does travel vlogs. Oh. Stephanie is at 917 subscribers. She is so close to a thousand guys. So if you don't already subscribe to Stephanie's channel, I really hope you will pop over and subscribe and tell her that Mindy sent you. I'd appreciate that a lot. And now I'm gonna stir this ground beef and we're gonna make a casserole, okay? The ground beef is browned 
And now we just mix it all together. I'm going to take the jar of gravy and add that. What I did is I added about maybe two tablespoons of water to this and I'm shaking around just to get it all out of there. And we will give this a stir. I'm going to add the peas and carrots and I'm going to add the corn. And I have made a big mess everywhere again. Nothing out of the ordinary there. And now I'm going to add the salt, pepper, and onion powder. And we're just going to give this a good stir. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm going to put it in a 9 by 13 baking dish. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to pop this in the oven just like this for 10 minutes. And while that is baking for 10 minutes, we're going to do the biscuits. We are going to open it just like that to pull them apart. Now I'm going to take my kitchen scissors and I'm just going to cut these into four pieces. Now what we're going to do is take the melted butter and pour that over these biscuits. Now I'm going to take the garlic powder, the parsley flakes, and the fourth of a teaspoon of salt and sprinkle that over and just mix it around. You want all of these biscuits coated. Okay, this has baked for 10 minutes. Now we're just going to take these little biscuit pieces and put it on top. They don't have to be uniform. The entire top does not have to be covered. The last time I made it, I had the jumbo size biscuits and it literally covered the entire thing. I'm not sure that these will, but this is what I had, so this is what we're using. There you have it guys. This is what it's gonna look like, I think, depending on what type of biscuit you use. I'm gonna pop this back into the oven at 350 degrees. I will let it bake 12 to 15 minutes just until the biscuits are done and they're starting to get golden brown on top. And then we will do a taste test. It is fresh out of the oven. It smells really, really good. And it looks pretty tasty too. I think I like the size of the smaller biscuits. I think that this is what I'll do next time instead of getting the jumbo biscuits. This is just, these came out like bite size. Oh, this is so good. Yum, this tastes good. Just as good as it did last time. Now I'm gonna try one of the little biscuits so hot. Okay guys, I just have to say that's really tasty and we like it. I've made this before. I made it actually just last week. So that being said, I give it two thumbs up and I know if my taste tester were here, he would give it two thumbs up too because he really liked this a lot. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you will like this video. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already because over 50% of my viewers are not yet subscribed. So I would really appreciate I'm that. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to get my mess cleaned up and take Sadie outside. And I'm ready to call it a day. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's me Sadie. And I just have to say, that casserole smelled so good. Yum. But I didn't get to taste it. I got some chicky though. And I like chicky, so that's okay too. I hope you guys like this video and subscribe and don't forget, leave us some comments because we love your comments. Bye!